And now at 11, a campus mourning the loss of another student. Tomorrow, the person charged with hitting and killing an IU Bloomington student while driving drunk will make her first court appearance. WRTV's Cornelius Hawker shows us IU has offered support to hundreds of students since this school year began. It looks like a typical Thursday night here in Bloomington, but if you talk to any of the students, they will tell you the school year has been anything but typical. A pair isn't, isn't big enough. You need like a whole... Yes. This friend group, all freshmen, say they're hyper aware of things that have been happening on and around campus, making them feel like they need to travel in a group. Most recently, the man who ended up in the sewer system trying to get away from police, it closed down streets and a building on campus. But because of everything that's been going on, these friends say the reaction was delayed. Yeah, like it didn't like, bother me, happened. and then I realized that like, that should have been like, more you freaked out. Yeah. Like, we should have been scared. Earlier in the evening, dozens of students showed up for a vigil honoring Nate Stratton, the young man hit and killed over the weekend while riding a scooter. Police say the accident caused by a drunk driver. The pain of this loss seen in the faces of those who knew and loved Nate. This shouldn't have happened. Um, and I love the man and he's going to be with me for the rest of my life. I can never properly express what it meant to be a sister to my brother. And I wish I could live the hundreds of lives that he touched if it meant learning just a little bit more about him. Nate's death marks the third IU student who's died since the beginning of the school year. Aware of how all this is impacting their students, Indiana University is encouraging them to seek support. There's a tab there that says get help. Um, and from that, you can enter what you are to be a student, your campus, and what you'd like help with. Dr. Aaron Carroll, IU's chief health officer, says there are a lot of options for students who need help processing any feelings they have. Whether it be, you know, help with stress, whether it be actual counseling, whether it be other groups that might be meeting or activities you could participate in, that's your best place to start. Wearing Nate's clothes, his family wants their son's friends to know they're here to help them start the healing process that so many are going to go through. I would like to invite you to come and share those with us um, personally and to, to let us know the person that he was in the last two years here. In Bloomington, Cornelius Hawker, WRTV. The 22-year-old woman accused of hitting and killing Nate Stratton is facing multiple charges, including leaving the scene of an accident and reckless homicide.